Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Friday morning. Um, we we should have gone. I should have looked for sales. Today. Nah, I think. I, you uh, think we're ready yet? I I think to I, I think we're gonna go out tomorrow to garage sales maybe just for a couple hours. But yeah. No, I think today was a a, a good day to go ahead and. We have stuff to take care of. Continue listing. We have errands to run. Yep. I'm desperately. I let myself get desperately low on boxes again. Yeah. So we got we got an order to pick up at Granger. We're gonna go to Goodwill to drop off donations. Mm -hmm. Go to storage to pick up more boxes. Yep. And yeah, that's like. But we really need. I want to go out for a few hours tomorrow, mm -hmm. but we really need to just continue on our. Yeah, what we're, we're doing when we go we're gonna be picky or we're gonna try to be picky yeah we'll see um and um i don't i haven't even looked at estate sales this week i don't even know what's going on with that this weekend i'm ready so. i'm ready to hit some more estate sales i am i mean man how long's it been since we went to any kind of sale? i know it's been too long it's but probably been about two month. months no or, longer than that yeah yeah no i i miss it yeah. we need to get back out there it's, it's time i think that that two thousand dollar store buy and you did in that same period of time you were doing the buys from the ladies on facebook i had two from them back to back like within days of each other pretty big buys too yeah and then the and buy from guy them. and then the two thousand dollars like it made sense for us to like hang back a little bit but yeah i mean why spend money when we have inventory right you know absolutely so, and yeah. it's it's still that way to some extent however we do need we do want an infusion of the good stuff that we always talk about because well now we're not going to find any <laughs> oh we will oh I'm, I'm confident i just miss going that's i mean to me that's the fun part of reselling is getting out there and finding the stuff absolutely it know, is and it's... i miss it so I'm, I'm excited the weather is gorgeous today it's supposed to be gorgeous all weekend so uh spring is definitely coming here in louisiana yeah we're running air conditioner right now yes <laughs> yeah. it's a it's probably mid 70s but i mean we just have the air conditioner running to you know keep it from getting uh what what's the word the air from being just stale yeah. yeah just circulate the air yep yeah feels feels good well we're gonna start out today with a viewer question um before we pull the orders are you ready for that yeah Oh, I put it on the wrong monitor. Sorry. That's okay. I'll just stand over here. <laughs> Candace hates it when I... I like kind of facing towards the camera I know. when I read. Well, here. Uh, let me fix this. Whoop. And we'll make it bigger bigger for you. There you go. Can you, do you need your bifocals or can you see that? Oh, gosh. Do you need to be slapped? <laughs> I have bifocal contacts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I keep... Candace keeps... Lately, She's she keeps losing her glasses. She'll... She'll set her glasses any old random place, and then we'll sit down to watch TV, and she'll go, "Where are my glasses?" Because <laughs> at, at the end of the day, I take my contacts off and just put on my glasses that are just single vision for distance. So when I'm looking at my phone or something, I have to take them off, and I'll just get up and leave them in random places. Anyway, yeah. so I keep I keep threatening to buy her one of those little gold chains to put on her glasses to so she can hang them. She gets mad at me every time. I have bifocals, by the I'm way. I'm gonna bring that back in style. My, I do have bifocals. I oh, know you do. I'm talking yeah. about the chain. I'm gonna bring that in style. Yeah. Okay. I'll make that the new fad. Yeah. With all the kids. You know, golden girls. <laughs> blue blue hairs. Okay, we're off track again. Uh, let's get back to the question. Okay. It's from AJ. Okay, AJ Clemens, 8669. I have a question. I have a lot of phones, but I'm nervous about selling electronics online and getting scams. So how do you guys protect yourself on your end? Um, honestly, we don't really have a problem with that. And I don't think there's really anything we do. Well, there, yeah. We don't have a problem with it anymore. Yeah. But I, it has been a problem before. So... I, first, what, what, first of all, what, why don't you? What, what would you say are some good things? Um, like for instance, I just listed a scanner, um, and I made sure to take a picture of the serial number. That can't hurt, you know, to have that on record that that's the item that they're buying. Right. That's right. more of that's kind of like uh, having a light outside. It's not going to stop someone. Right. But it might make it might them. Deter. They might go. They might go looking for the house that doesn't have a light on. Yeah. 
instead they might right. look for the easier target right so that i think i think putting doing stuff like putting the serial number does make you a little bit of a harder target and might kind of tell mm -hmm. the uh might kind of tell the person that um you're you, you have your wits about you a you're little on bit guard yeah you're a little bit on guard maybe and, uh doing video in your listing showing the item working that doesn't always help but it could maybe deter someone right yeah it, it's a deterrence mm -hmm. like most of the things we're going to talk about are deterrents and they're not they're not ways i don't think there is a way to stop scamming on ebay because like a lot of people a lot of people talk about oh you put the serial number or you do a little dot with a with a uh i like a like a pen that only shows a mark up somewhere that only you know but it's in the photos um some people get that that tape when you remove it it leaves mm -hmm. marks yep that, that stuff you can't get off i've actually gotten that off a product before but yeah doing that kind of stuff I, and again all that kind of stuff i think those are great deterrents some people will even um videotape themselves or not video i don't know it's not tape <laughs> i mean i record every day i i, I don't know why i still call we i don't probably have a camcorder in here you can use to do that if you want <laughs> hey let me uh video my, <laughs> yeah my okay not video but they video themselves packing the item and like i i think i think that that's a nice to deterrent i guess if you but they aren't going to know the cu potential customer isn't going to know you videoed it and, and customer service doesn't and care. also I, I i've seen a lot of times where people said they they had video evidence of this or that and ebay ain't looking at that that i know of like maybe they eBay, might like you don't have video of packing it and never taking the camera off and right. handing it to the carrier right you like know? that's the thing like yeah. any any like okay i videotape myself packing it and then shut the video down and then okay now you open it and then take the thing out and swap it out with a brick yeah. and then you send like how do you know how do they know you didn't do that yeah right yeah. so one one item type that i found that i feel like we had a lot of um maybe not maybe scams maybe not or just I, I won't say scams. I'll just say a lot. We'll put it this way. A lot of after sale issues. And that is with uh, DVD VCR combos. Mm. Uh, back actually before you came around. Yeah. I was selling a pretty good many of those. I remember you were always picking them up at and, sales. And I had a, a pretty, there were, there are two reasons I stopped selling those. Number one had a pretty high, no good rate fail rate you know on the ones i would pick up it probably it might be half of them would work and half of them wouldn't yeah and yeah i could probably pop them open and do some maintenance on them clean them up or do something to them that's not what i like to do as a reseller i don't like to fix things and or like do that kind of work to them plus they're a little bulky mm -hmm. to pack and store and stuff and i just decided that I didn't want to sell them anymore, but those like larger electronics, I find I was getting a pretty good many after sale issues, like pretty often. Yeah. So I decided to just quit selling that stuff. Not worth the headache. No, it's not. Yeah. And it's heavy. I don't, it's not fun to pack. It's now bulk, you, It's bulky to store. Yeah. But the thing is, it is high margin mm -hmm. because you can buy like stereo receivers and dvd vcr combos and all those large uh electronics you can find that stuff really cheap at garage sales you really can and i would say like for someone that wants to sell electronics and it, probably a lot of you guys that are watching right now do sell electronics because it is a high margin it is good business if that's what you want to do um I think you're just going to have a certain amount of of issues and you just have to factor that in as a cost of doing that kind of business. Some legitimate, some not. Yeah, and it's not like you're Sherlock Holmes, you can't figure out who's lying and who's not. Right. You know? And and whenever you do get whenever you do get someone that's trying to scam you, um the best you the best thing you could do usually is uh you know, show eBay what you got, maybe get in touch with uh eBay for business on Facebook. 
they, they're better than the the standard reps. Yep. But I think there's I think I think it's just a fact that electronics are higher scam items than other stuff, and especially phones. Yeah. Phones are a really high scam category. So if you have, but if you have a lot of phones, um, I mean, are you willing to like, like? Like maybe if you have a 5% scam rate or 10% scam rate, is that acceptable? Can you handle that? And are your profit margins high enough to absorb that? Yeah. Yeah. That's, and, the, that's the thing. Also, another another thing you could do, and uh, you could probably sell them local if you wanted, if you were up for that. I mean, there would be, if you sold them on Facebook Marketplace local, that would be something you could do. Yeah. And you might, be, you might even be able to get about the same kind of money for them anyway. Yep. So... Uh, but another way to avoid scams is new, brand new accounts are fertile ground for scammers. Scammers love people with like low feedback because they think you're not going to be savvy. They think you're not going to have seen scams before or know how to deal with them or they're going to take you at face value. They know that once someone has like 500, 1,000 feedback, They've already they've been around the block a few times. They've already seen all the tricks, yeah. all the scammers and stuff like that. Yeah. So I I think I think it's really like I think electronics are a higher than average scam category. But then if you factor in that if you have a, a newer account, I think that <laughs> that scam percentage could go could like double or more. Because you you are considered kind of a soft target. You know? Yeah, so new account, maybe put those all to the side till you have a good bulk of feedback. But then the only problem with that is like phones, mm -hmm. every day you're not listing those, they're the going down thing. in value. I mean, the, the only other option, I guess, would be to sell them um, for parts only, you know? Right, that's and true too. you have too. to make sure when you do that, that you're selecting that under condition. Um, I know a lot of times people don't, they just say used and that opens you up for scammers right there. Yep. That, yeah. That's, that's a mistake. A lot of people make when they do parts only they'll do, they'll say it in the title untested or yeah. And, and then they'll put it in the description, but then the condition field mm -hmm. they'll put used yep. and right in a suit and you, that used condition that, that means that your item works right no matter what your other stuff says it means that item works yep. the base functionality of that item should should work if you're using used condition so many times you may have sided with the buyer because the co the correct condition was not selected right yeah but no there's no there's no way there's no way to avoid scams and really to 100 percent avoid scams and really uh it, it, you have to be hardened to that kind of thing. You just expect you're going to have a certain number of issues when you're an online seller because you will. Yeah. You are going to have losses. You're going to have issues. People are going to get over on you. Uh, the platforms are all designed to favor the buyer mm -hmm. for good reason. Yep. Because buyers need to feel confident. Yeah, they have more at risk than sellers, if you think about it. Yeah, buyers need to feel confident yep. when when they're buying from people or they won't buy. Yeah. Like if, if they have some question that they, what if I don't get the thing that I, what if that thing isn't like what they said it is and will I just lose my money? No, you won't. You're covered. You know, you have, you have protections. They, I mean, as bad as it is that, you know, when we have a loss because of that and we don't feel it's right um imagine if customers were actually legitimately scared to buy from people on ebay imagine how much that would imagine how much your losses would be from that i got scammed one time on ebay a long time ago and i was man i was so mad and i know how that feels you know and um what I, happened I, I it was this new frying pan that i seen on tv and somebody had it on ebay cheaper and I didn't know to look to see like how new the account was and all that, you know. So um, turns out they took my money and probably a hundred other people, uh -huh. you know. And then bam, they were gone. eBay couldn't get, you know. This was back in the day of like um, when it was still going through PayPal and all that, you know. Right. So yeah, I know how it feels. And um, 
sellers need to feel confident that they're protected. Buyers. Yeah, buyers. Yeah, the buy, buyer confidence is so huge. If buy, like, And I do feel confident when I buy something on eBay if it goes south that I feel good. I feel fairly confident that eBay is going to take care of me if I have a problem with an item I buy on eBay. That is important, and that is why we have losses to scammers because they kind of have to side with the buyer in most cases. Yeah. Not all. I'm not saying all. It's not right. a blanket statement. Yeah. But there is a reason that eBay is more buyer friendly than seller friendly. Yeah. If, and they, don't, if they don't protect the buyer, the buyers will just go buy somewhere else. Amazon, same way. Yeah. Amazon's no different. None of the, some of the platforms are stricter than others. Mm -hmm. Like Poshmark is more seller friendly. And I think a lot of that is because the sellers and buyers are kind of the same. Yeah. And like the whole idea is they're all selling to each other from their closets. Yeah. Right? It's not really meant as a professional. Right. It wasn't built to be like a like a, a full-time seller kind of platform. I don't think it is, but it wasn't. Right. Macari's kind of the same way. Mm-hmm. Macari is not as buyer friendly, I would say. It's kind of like the uh, Craigslist of uh, online shopping. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I do feel like I would be safe there because you can always do a chargeback. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, did we answer the question? I think so. I mean, really, it, the end result is there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you know, just kind of guard yourself and try yep. to deter it from happening. You right. Know? Yep, and then, but, you know, they, of course, you could always, like, police reports and all that kind of stuff, but, yeah. Selling electronics, it's not for the timid. It's not for, it's not for the person that's going to uh, sell electronics on eBay. It's not for the person that, if they if they feel like if they're going to have a bad experience, and then they just say, well, forget it. I'm They're all cheating and scamming me. I quit. I quit selling. That happens. Yeah. Like we bought, we've bought from people plenty of times, like locals that source like at uh, uh, storage units or you know other pallets. things like that. Pallets. Yep. And they sell local, and they only want to sell local. But and then sometimes they'll tell you a story. Yeah, I used to sell on eBay, but uh, there's too many scammers there. Yeah. They got burnt when they were a new seller. They got burnt, and they're like. Uh-uh, I don't want to do that I'm anymore. Yeah. Which I understand, but that's kind of a throwing the baby out with the bathwater situation. Yeah. You know? Like, we've lost plenty of times on, you know, on stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our fault, sometimes scammer, whatever. But overall, like, if you just look at the whole... If you look at all the money, and you look at the percentage of times you got scammed, it's pretty damn low. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we do need to pull orders. Yep, let's go. All right, let's take a look at some orders, see what sold yesterday. All right, let's and, go. And this morning. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just clear the deck. Um, first item is an infant CPR training kit. It's on 5 Delta Right. Okay, that was from a $2,000 store buy, pretty sure. 5 Delta Right. It's in a box. Okay. Oh, it's on the left. Got moved. Yeah, probably got moved. That's all for $19.99. It's going to Lake Mary, Florida. Um, we sold a stone New York by Stone Mountain. Stone. Stone. <laughs> it's in the box on Four Delta. It's a paisley blue and like blue and brown color. Four Delta. There's a box. Oh. Gotcha. I think it's, it's probably this. I'll, t I'll take it out and take a look at it. $16.99 is going to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Is that it? it? Yeah. Looks like, uh, what's that brand? Vera Bradley. Yes. Yeah, quilted fabric. Two auctions ended last night um, for Dragon Ball Z cards. The first auction um, went for $43. It's in the cube. They're in little deck cases. Oh, these. And that one's going to O'Fallon, Missouri. Okay. And then the other one is on Six Echo, also in two deck cases, two deck boxes. Six Echo, yep, I see them. Those went for 51, and they're going to Greensboro, North Carolina. 
I'm just glad they're different colors than these because I'll yeah you know make real sure and I don't the mix those up. And the pictures are in the thumbs of the bo the boxes are in the thumbs. Okay, good. The main photo, I guess, is because I don't want to mess those up. Yeah. Um, we sold a in pursuit of unicorn soft cover book. Weirdo fifteen. And that's the second box I started up. Y'all can see I've got all kind of stuff. It, this is not a lot of this is empty. Some is not. Oh, that's all the stuff I took out of my drawer. <laughs> all right. I got to deal with that. A lot of that stuff is trash. Some is not. Okay. Uh, trying not to do that. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I quit. All right. That's over $10.99. It's going to Rockland, California. Okay. Speaking of your drawer, what did you decide the name of? Uh, Epic. I just okay. haven't done it yet. I was thinking yet. you were doing it weird, but I was like, that's not going to work. We have another weird. No, yeah. it's called Epic. Okay. Um, Hobbit 21 is the mini poster that was on auction. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot I put it in here. I mean, this box is stuffed. It's going to take a little while to... Hobbit 21, where, where where the heck is it? It was 14. These must have got out of order or something. How did I, what did I do? Where is my poster? Hobbit 21, right? Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me get this thing down. Yeah, they are in reverse order, but no, what I did was... 14 21 right here yep. i was just i just didn't find it. i just didn't see it yeah so it. that was an auction it went for 35 and it's going to el paso texas now here's the thing that poster last one sold for 83 i think yeah so auction was maybe not a great idea well the other person did an auction and they got a bunch of bids yeah. so i don't understand it's just all about timing you know I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with 35. Yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, what I'm probably going to do is just go ahead. I may do a multi quantity listing. Just list them all for that. And list them all for 35, 40 bucks. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's still great money. Let me put this back up there. All right. We sold a um, Star Trek Deep, Deep Space Nine promo card in the D&D &D drawer. It sold for $2.99. It's going to Lexington, Kentucky. That might be, um, I'll take one out here in a minute. This might be the cheapest listing we have on eBay. I'm not sure. <laughs> but those do go uh, eBay standard envelope. And they also have another feature. Those are not subject to the 10 cent increase in final value fee. Oh, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess we should have done all the Hobbit stuff at once. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. What Hobbit you got? 35. Okay, I'll be smoother this time. Okay. And I'll tell you what it is. Let's see. Okay, 35 is... Ooh, yikes. Yeah, uh, in your face. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Heavy metal. Yep. I was glad to see that sell it. I didn't like it being up in our store. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was just like right there. Yeah. And then on the images of the Oh look, birds. there's a girl there too. I was talking about the uh octopus. Oh, what no. Were you no, I was joking. On your on or your squid or on whatever. On your photos is. of the images you did all the four corners and then you have the <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Why?" laughs> uh, All right, that's all for nineteen ninety nine is going to Rapid City, South Dakota. The Brit the Brits would call that being cheeky. Yes, that is cheeky. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we sold a nutcracker. Yay! Yeah. Ten Charlie Chubby Bagpiper. Yeah, I, I took an offer. I don't know how you felt about oh, the offer. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even look. So you I care? I don't know what he was listed for. We have, we initially had him up for a hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Somebody and got a good deal. Yeah, somebody got a good deal at sixty, I think. Yep, sixty to Bonterra, Missouri. Okay. Uh, five Bravo, a lot of manga books. Uh, Havate, the Combat Butler. Five Bravo. Everyone needs a combat butler. I think it's on the other side. It's 23. 
What a weird premise that is. Must be seven books, I think. Yeah, I see them. Combat Butler. All right. Sorry, y'all trying to get my hand on that. All right, here we go. How many is it? Seven? I think it's seven, yeah. I have seven here. I wonder if they got the idea from Batman's Butler. That's a lot. That's a big series of books, man. Look, yeah. I've got just yeah. random ones, 10 through 26. Yeah. Um, that's over $20 going to Seymour, Texas. Um, the next skew just says poster. Oh, it's probably up. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. It's a 1986 Richard Petty poster. Okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. Going to look for Richard Petty, huh? Baton Rouge Mardi Gras. That's it. Right here on the end. Let's see. This says Richard Petty. So, oh, Petty Road to a Thousand. Yes. Okay. That's over $19.99. It's going to Fort Myers, Florida. Okay, we've got several posters going out today. Yes. And some of this media I've been listing too, which is good to see. And last item on eBay is in the epic drawer. It's a Hell's Angels press book. Oh, yeah. We do have something else, I think. This one, Hell's Angels? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a bunch of uh, larger format posters. I showed y'all yesterday. Larger format posters like this. And then I also saw some uh, larger format press books. press books, which are cool because they actually make posters really you know from that you know, size you can take the cover or even the back art also if it's good art right and look here's this is the first one i'm going to list today after i finish packing yeah i like that one that one um they play around with murder like they play around with men <laughs> they're hog straddling female animals on the prowl <laughs> hog straddling female animals <laughs> that's awesome where in the world now, there was a good comp. The reason I'm I know to list that one, there is a good comp out there. It's like, I think somebody got 50, 60, 70 bucks for it. That probably like kind of dates it without looking it up because they, they point out that it's in color. Color by perfect. So it was like when movies were going like from black and white towards color. Uh, I don't know. It, it is from 1968. Oh. Were they, so, so they were Yeah, okay. Let me see. The date's right here. Yeah, 1968. That looks like a low... You know what that looks like to me? That looks like a low-budget movie that probably went straight to the drive-ins. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? There's a girl strangling another girl down oh. here. <laughs> oh, I, I think... Yeah. yeah. And the, the thing is, like, this one I sold cheap. Relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. There's a few cutouts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of them have cutouts out of them. Right. Or they sent off to, like, newspapers or whatever. Yep. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of them are like that. A lot of them have cutouts. Yeah. So, but, like, the a one like this that didn't, that was uncut, they got, like, 60 bucks or something. Oh, wow. Big difference. So. Yep. And that one's all for twenty four ninety nine. It's going to Akron, Ohio. Maybe I could have gotten more for this, too. I don't know. Yeah. I might have priced it too cheap. I'm happy. Um, we, uh, Mercari, we sold a Happy Meal toy, uh, Uptown Mo on Nine Charlie. Oh, Nine Charlie. Okay. Uptown Mo. That is actually what we call our daughter Molly sometimes. Yeah. Not Uptown. Her, her nickname is Mo since she was a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mo. Yeah. And then she has, it's funny, we have, uh. She has a sweatshirt. <laughs> she has a sweatshirt from Branson, Missouri, which I've never even been to. Where'd she get that shirt? She so my mom takes her on a lot. Oh, that's of right. Your mother took her. My mom takes her on a lot of trips, and she went through this phase where every single place she went, she bought a hoodie. She a must hoodie. have like thirty hoodies. And they went to Branson, and she got a um, Missouri, a Branson, Missouri shirt. And on the front, in big bold, it says M O. It says Mo on it. It says it says Branson Mo. Yeah. Like like that's a that's like a card player or a gunslinger yeah, name or Branson something. Branson Mo. All right, which one is this supposed to be? Uptown Mo C. Okay. I didn't put the little numbers in there because I had the pictures. Okay. All um, right. that's all for seven ninety nine plus ship. I am gonna double check it. Yeah. 
All right, uh, let's make sure we don't have anything else. All right, yeah, that is everything that's going out today. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed up. I wanted to show y'all real quick how I was packing the um, Hell's Angel poster. So I took a 12-12-12 box and I cut it in half. And then I cut two, I cut two of these flaps off on each half and put them in my little scrap box over there. And now I have one half here, but I didn't like how this was bendy right here. I was afraid it would get bent right there, even with it folded over. So I used the other half too. I'm using the whole box minus four flaps. And I'm putting the, the uh, folded part on the other side here to provide more strength here. And the good thing is, uh, well, I mean, this packaging... I guess it's a little expensive. It's like uh, 90 cents plus I have the scraps still. And then, uh, which isn't bad, but then this only weighs, um, it's gonna ship at a 16 ounce rate. So that's pretty good. Well, a lot of the stuff you've been finding in these uh, $2,000 store buy, most of it's pretty common. Yes, it is. Um, every once in a while we found a gem like this. Um, this is by a company named r core a r c o r and it's called safe play rubber is what it's made out of it came out in the 1940s is there a maker's mark on it um yeah it's behind the wheel here it's made in usa oh okay i see it, it this m m on it i don't think i don't know if you can see it it stands for minneapolis moline which is the t the tractor this was modeled after okay so um anyway if you find these like when i was looking at comps um it's very confusing because it came in two sizes there's like a four and a half inch size, which sells oh, for a lot lower. Yeah, because that's, what well, you mean four and a half inch long? Yeah, long. Okay. And mine's seven and a half. Okay. Um, so big difference in prices. Um, these go for, this goes for, two years ago, one sold for 50. There's none in this size listed right now, especially with so much paint left on it. So I'm going for 60. Now, if you find this sucker in yellow in good condition, it goes for over $100. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like a, let me feel it. It's, it's weird. It's, it's like a, a hard rubber. When I say rubber, it's not like a squeaky toy. It's no, hard. It's like a hard, dense. Yeah. It's very, very dense rubber. Like I can't, I couldn't bend it or anything. But it's know? not plastic. No, it's not. It's interesting. Yeah. It looks like it. I thought it was metal when you first showed it. I know. To me. Doesn't it look like metal? They did. They. It's genius how what they came up with. I really. It's safe really cool. play toy. Huh? Yep. Safe play rubber. Okay. And a lot of them, like this little hitch is broken off or the head's been broken off. So is there, do some of them sell with something that tows behind it, like a bush hog or a tiller? Or something I know like the that? smaller one came with, looks like a farm set, like the animals and everything. Uh, I don't know about So there uh, might even be a trailer. But huh? yeah, there are other stuff that they made. So there uh, probably is. Um, man, I even saw the yellow one without a head went for $50. So no you, head on it. $50. So you've got something there. Yeah, this is this is something to keep Man. an eye out for. A R C O R is the name of the brand. I wonder what she. Um, a. I wonder if she had it listed, and B. I wonder what she had it listed for. Yeah, did she not? Because most people don't put the size in their title. Big huh. mistake. Yeah. That that's the kind of thing you wonder how it didn't sell in her store already. Right. I'm it must have been the price, or it wasn't listed. Either price, or she didn't have it listed. Yeah. All right, got everything packed up, and uh, well, the poster. <laughs> this is a pretty gnarly looking pack here, Candace. Is this the ugliest pack I've sent out lately? Oh my god, yes. I guess it was too tall for one of the uh, paper inserts. That's what it is. Oh, and you just gave it an extra wrap. Yeah, because the poster was the exact same dimension, this exact same length as the tube. Yeah. So I couldn't use caps. Right. So on the outside so i just used a couple of pieces of cardboard on either end yeah and um hey it works yeah it works it's sturdy and, and it's secure in there very sturdy and also what that kind of does it might stop it from just sitting on a conveyor belt rolling true, true. too you yeah. know but yeah it is a nasty looking package <laughs> also while i was packing that stuff we got one more order in which i'm gonna go ahead and pull now it is hobbit 19 box out a little bit hobbit 19 it is a weirdo magazine here we go weirdo magazine number two and this sold i think for 19.99 uh let me see where it's going i wasn't prepared 
It is going to make sure it's not a capital. No capitals today yet. Oh, Richmond, Virginia. That actually is a capital. Now I'm scared. I think I think Virginia's here. Oh man, Candace sitting here to help. Um, computer, what is the capital of Richmond? I mean. Richmond does not have a capital. It is the capital of Virginia. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's you left. And I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> it's actually. This is actually going to a capital. Oh, where? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, sweet. Is that this one right here? Yeah. Okay. We don't have that one marked yet. So yeah, we got a new capital. Cool. All right. Good. I'll get this pack, and that's it. All right, y'all, we are back. Man, it, traffic is crazy. It's Friday. And um, but so where did we go? We went to Goodwill. We went to storage first. Storage. Because Just because of the way the route ran, it made sense to stop at storage first and pick up some more stuff. What, probably about a dozen boxes or something? Or maybe no. 10? Yeah, for stuff from the eBay store buy. We picked some more of that up because um, I was out of stuff to list. Um, and then we went to Goodwill and donated a ton. Right. Yep. Yeah. Maybe not exactly a ton, but probably like, probably a couple hundred pounds anyway. I told Lonnie, we've donated so much stuff in the last month and we made a quick walkthrough and I didn't see any of our stuff. I didn't either. I don't know if, if they've just been inundated with merchandise and just sending stuff straight to the bins or I don't know what's going last on. Last time we went, we saw a few things, but not much, and yeah. especially not compared to how much stuff we've been bringing the quantity, there. Yeah. And then we went to uh, Granger. Granger to pick up some of our order. It's weird. Some some of the stuff they actually like, like eight like this paper here. They stocked that I think. Yeah. Because that's available immediately. Yeah. And then we we did something different. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all in the next video probably. We got another roll that's like this because these are like twenty five. That's we, eighteen inch. This is eighteen inch. We got another roll that's just like this, except instead of 18, it's 24 inch. Yeah. And it's uh, $8 more. It's yeah. $33 instead of 25. But so you get a lot more paper. Yeah, I need to do the math on that and see if that's... But also something I told Lonnie on the way home, I'm like, you know, um, you have some over here, right? Yeah. We've been hanging on to these to ship posters in. Well, that'll give him 24 inch size tubes these things are like so strong right and then i can actually uh i don't you know 24 is a bad measurement because 23 i think over 22 mm -hmm. i think i'm doing this off of memory. i think it's over 22 is the uh, uh the surcharge yeah level so you have to cut them off so i can cut it off yeah you know? we'll get the chainsaw out yeah <laughs> actually you might 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 get the jigsaw yeah the jigsaw yeah. <laughs> um I, yeah and i'm going through books look i wanted to share this one with y'all it's so cool look look it looks like it's brand new it, look feel it it it's still has like the shine the gloss yeah the sheen to it yeah you see that it, it's like it went straight into a, um yeah a bag and check out the back look at the ad on the back oh my it's god it's kenner uh star wars vehicles i had that and I had that. I had both. Yeah. Those are the originals from the original movie. Mm -hmm. Look, seventeen ninety eight, seventeen ninety. Look, plus two dollars shipping and handling. <laughs> Man, I wish. Yeah. What I didn't have, I didn't have the um, the Falcon back then. Mm -hmm. Now these these magazines are cool. Look, we have that one. We have this one. I think we might have a few more because let me show them. Okay. Because in the middle of them, and mine are mine have the posters. There's a 22. I can't show you the poster because it's like in there. It's folded. But look, this thing is huge. Mm -hmm. This is, is that a from, uh, close encounters. Yeah. Okay. They have it's a 22 by 32 inch centerfold poster, and then this one is the same with Battlestar Galactica. With Battlestar Galactica, and the posters are in them. It's so cool. And I have I have a few others. I've Did got you all. See that little notice on the front? It just caught What's my that? Eye. Kenner Star Wars toys available inside. <laughs> oh man, what? Man, what if you could? What if you could like? 
write a check mail this off and yeah cut this out <laughs> and they honored it mail it off and then oh we don't make those anymore i guess we need to ramp up production again <laughs> six to eight weeks later look because you normally no look allow four to six weeks for delivery i always i always wonder like you know we we're we're busting our butts to get stuff out like same day next day right and they were doing like back in the 70s they're like uh, we'll get it to you in four to four to six weeks. In about a month like or that. two. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a, that's so long. It's like a freaking pre-order. I know. But uh, that's how it was on just about everything yep. mail order back then. But what if you could send that in? And then what if what if there's a guy in a warehouse and everybody else assumes that this is like no longer available? What if they have one guy in a warehouse and he goes out and checks his mailbox every day? Okay. <laughs> Here's our back stock. Let me go send them one. Hey, I got an order today. Yeah. He pulls it out, and then, like, what if you actually, what if they actually fulfilled that? That would be funny. Is there a limit on the. Is Kenner still in business? Yeah. I think. Or did they get bought out? I have no idea. No, I don't think Kenner's in business anyway. Some items may be as late as October 1978. And limited available. Limited supplies. Okay. Anyway, that's dumb. Dumb idea on my part. But. I, I did think that ad was really cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's see where we at here. As of um, the start of this morning, we can kind of show them where we're at for our monthly uh, listings. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was 33 for 646. So far this month, 716 listings for $13,939. It's been a much better month than we expected, yeah. both listing wise and, of course, with that sales wise it's been a great month sales sales wise it for has. us so far yeah. youtube's been good too everything's good yeah. so this is a good friday uh, afternoon for us ready to get our weekend started and we decided to not go to sales tomorrow just no. because we still have so much merchandise it would just be silly um we may go to estate sales sunday i'm gonna check them out and see how they look i'm, I'm planning on going to estate sales. lonnie really likes estate sales so huh <laughs> I said you really like estate sales. I do. Yep. So do you. I do too. Yeah. I, that's where we get some of our bet, our like biggest Quality scores. Stuff, yeah. So I'm gonna check them out, see if they. I think they're worth going to. Um, and we'll let y'all know on Monday what what happened. Yep. Well, that is gonna be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. And don't forget, if you liked what you watched and want to see more, subscribe down below. Bye, y'all. <laughs>